Hello fellow bookwesters, and today I am going to do a bit of a different video than one I would usually do. Today I got the book Fog Diver, and I want to compare it with the movie Space Sweepers, which is number one trending in Netflix Korea today. And well, let's get right on to it. So, the Fog Diver is a book about, about these kids who are trying to reach these hit in, in a world where this deadly mist called a fog has covered most of the lower parts of the world so that only the highest peaks is where humanity could survive and they are trying to run to this almost mythical like place called Port Oro where things are apparently much much nicer than where they live right now which is the rooftop which is very very not very nice and is ruled by an evil man named Lord Kodok. And meanwhile the Space Sweepers is a is a recently released movie and it is a great movie where the earth is pretty much polluted and basically unable to live there and everyone had to go out to live in space and that's pretty much it so that is the current two situations and i want to compare by the way i want you guys to watch read the book and or watch the movie Sw space sweepers of course these aren't based off of each other or anything this movie Space Sweepers is based on a Dom webtoon, and you should check it out if you're Korean or if you can read the language. And basically, I want to compare the similarities. So, first off, one of the main characters, Hazel, Captain Hazel, he was just her eye. She can tell how long that ship would take to come here, and she is an expert sailor, even though she is, well, she basically she's just a prodigy. And meanwhile, in the movie, Captain Han. Captain Han is a genius prodigy who came up with the best gadgets ever. And also, she's an incredible captain of her spaceship. And she is just amazing in general. So I think those two people are very, very similar in many ways. And it gets even, even, even more similar. The Fog Divers, these, these kids, the crew of Bia, the young mechanic, Hazel, the captain... Our dear main character, who is, you know, Chess. Sorry, I forgot the name for a second. Chess is the fog diver, and he jumps into the mist to find trash from the old days to sell for money up in the rooftop. And you know what's similar? Why do you think the movie's called the Space Sweepers? Captain Han and his cr and her crew, they basically just, like, go around... Go around the the atmosphere looking for space garbage, and they get the space garbage and they change it for money, and that's what they do. And I think that's incredibly similar to what the fog divers do to get money, and also the fact that the bad guy is very very similar. One one bad guy who is in the space sweepers is a delusional, and he thinks that he he's playing some sort of god, and he wants to choose the best people, the fittest people to live in his paradise and let Earth with the rest of its population die. Which is pretty crazy for a fanatic crazy man. And he is basically the ruler of this 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 movie world, this cinematic world. And meanwhile Lord Kodok is a psychopath who is just obsessed with finding this machine called the compass that can lower the fog, and the fog kills people. So if he wants to, he can raise the fog to kill people, and then lower the fog to places he wants to, so he can basically be the ruler of the world. And I feel like that's really similar to the plot of the Space Sweepers of Dorothy. Dorothy is a girl who can, who can communicate with nanobots and make plants grow yet again. And so she has the power to restore the Earth to its former glory. Because of this, I believe that the Compass and Dorothy are kind of the same thing. And meanwhile, the two the bad guys, they want to get Compass, the Compass, or Dorothy, so they can have control of their own little worlds. And of course, I'm not like critiquing or anything. I'm, they're both very unique in their own ways. But however, there are very, very noticeable similarities that I just pointed out that I wanted to talk about in the video. But of course, the critical difference is, is that this book, The Fog Diver, is about this motley crew, 
I'm slowly Motley Crue running for a utopia. They're running to reach Port Oro, where apparent, where, which is kind of described as the ultimate paradise. And meanwhile, the Space Weepers is mostly about moving on, having a heart, and the, the end goal is pretty much to save the world, not run away to a, a paradise. So I think that's the main difference. However, I think that the two, to the cinematic movie and this book has quite a few similarities, as I have just mentioned. I'm sure if you look a little closely, you can probably find a couple more differences, but I'm not going to tell, tell them to you guys because I want you guys to look at the movie and look at the book and judge for yourselves. And like always, your book cluster and the book cluster. Have a great day. Subscribe if you can. And yeah. If you find more differences, comment down below, and I'll be glad to hear them out. See ya.